what do you want to do? Should we do should we do AI as just underpaid foreigners? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Amazon. Amazon will be phasing out its cashierless checkout system called Just Walk Out, which launched in 2016. You may remember that was one of my first big controversies, actually. It might have been might have been the first big one. I think that was the first time I was ever covered in mainstream news. Who That's, never talks about me unless it's something right. negative. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it launched in 2016. We went and checked out the Amazon Go store, which uh, was in Seattle and was the very, very first prototype of that. Um, it was available at 27 of their 44 Amazon Fresh grocery stores. And the idea was that it was supposed to allow customers to scan in at the door, then have the items that they pick up tallied and automatically rung up by a machine vision system using cameras and sensors. Uh, my understanding was it was more than just cameras, like there were weight sensors on, on the shelves and stuff like that. However, it was recently revealed that the system was actually heavily dependent on a large team of over a thousand overseas workers based mostly in India. Now, when I say underpaid, I'm sure that Amazon was above the legal limit in India. But what I will say is that, you know, probably they weren't paid that much there's compared a, to Amazon's balance sheet. If you are interested in this, uh, there's a lot of coverage on these groups, and it's like really bad. Uh, so Amazon claim. I mean, I'm sure they'd rather be working on this than you know training like Gore algorithms or whatever. Which is another thing that they do. It, Amazon Mechanical Turk. I'll jump over to my screen really quick. Oh no, <laughs> they, what is this? They definitely don't just uh, work for the you know Amazon walk-in stores. This is a service that you can get from Amazon for a global on-demand 24-7 workforce. Did you know you can hire people what the through fuck does Amazon? Mechanical Turk mean? I don't know. Am I missing something here? I don't know. No, seriously though, what does mechanical Turk mean? Like, uh, can, can, like, what, what, what is the, what is the, what is this branding? M Turk offers developers access to a diverse on-demand workforce through a flexible user interface uh, or direct integration okay. with a simple API. Hold on a second. Can I just say that that use of the word diverse <laughs> is quite possibly <clears throat> the most toxic that I have ever encountered ever i wonder if they count it in like in their like company diversification organizations can harness the power of crowdsourcing via m turk for a range of use cases such as micro work human insights and machine learning development so cool dude so Amazon claimed that these workers were mostly tasked with improving its machine learning algorithms by annotating training footage. Yes. Um, and that is totally a thing. That doesn't mean that AI is just low-wage workers from overseas. Uh, okay, apparently Mechanical Turk was a... F I, I remember this because I looked it up when I first heard about this. Mechanical Turk was a, a chess-playing robot, a fake chess-playing robot. Okay. Yeah, I still probably wouldn't have gone with that. Oh, yeah, definitely not. For sure. Cool. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that is, a, that is a real thing. It's a fraudulent chess machine. That makes it actually genuinely funnier to me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Mechanical Turk, also known as the uh, Automaton Chess Player, uh, or simply the Turk, was a fraudulent chess playing machine constructed in 1770, which appeared to be able to play a strong game of chess against a human opponent for it. For 84 years, it was exhibited on various tours. The machine survived and continued giving occasional exhibitions until 1854, when a fire swept through the museum where it was kept destroying the machine. Afterwards, articles were published by a son of the machine's owner, revealing its secrets to the public that it was an elaborate hoax. <laughs> Imagine naming part of your company. <laughs> uh, it's like uh, LTT's new product, distributed fraud. <laughs> and we'll 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 use the diverse people. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
<laughs> Just, I love how the third benefit of Mechanical Turk is reduced cost. Yeah. Oh, they talk about how great the, the team is, and then they're like, reduce cost! <sighs> okay. So anyway, hold on, hold on. Okay, so back to back to that just because you are using humans to validate the data, that does not mean that it's not machine learning. It can still be machine learning. Machine learning needs to be reinforced. And you can't just have another machine reinforce the other machine. You actually have to have humans go in and say, "Okay, no, no, that was that was a sandwich. Uh that was not a wrap." Right? Um Okay, sorry. People, so, are, people are yelling at me to read the next paragraph. Um, oh no! So, I, and I, I skimmed it. Drac I, Ryu says, "Wait, is this Amazon's April Fool's joke?" No, this thing has been around for quite a while. Yeah, um, sorry. So, yeah, the part that I think they want me to read because people are saying the next paragraph, other people are saying the third paragraph. I think it's the third one. Uh, the Turk was, in fact, a mechanical illusion that allowed a human chess master hiding inside to operate the machine. So it's a it's a hidden person inside of a oh, thing wow. that you think is a machine. So it got too real here. Yeah. Okay. I think they're being like super literal. They're like, this is an AI program that is actually a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> the soilant is made out of people. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. It's not quite that. Well, I don't know anything about the like working conditions or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, this is this is a hundred percent still machine learning. The fact that thirty percent of them worked without human intervention is is something. Um, but that's more like probably where they expected to be. Within a few months of launch, yeah. not where they expected to be eight years on from the launch. Uh, according to a report by The Information, around 70% of transactions required the intervention, intervention or assistance of an unseen offsite employee as of 2022. This apparently sometimes resulted in customers waiting hours before receiving a receipt. That makes sense. Amazon will, however, continue with another cashierless feature that it's been experimenting with since 2020 dash carts which are a combination of shopping cart slash self-checkout uh, this is similar to another odd case discovered in december when a supposedly ai powered drive through presto automation which also needed uh overseas workers to step in 70 percent of the time according to a filing with the sec okay um so our discussion question is um what is the value of making it feel like something is totally automated, even when it actually still takes a lot of human work to pull off? Uh, one thing not mentioned in our notes here is apparently uh, one of the other issues was that however, whatever labor they were saving in cashiers, um, they were more than paying for in the army of people that had to go around and make sure that all of the products were perfectly faced so that the cameras could tell what people oh. were taking off the shelves. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. You know what? I mean, I made a video about it because I legitimately thought it was really cool. It seemed I I expressed at the time some doubts about the the viability of it. I was like, "Wow, it's kind of amazing that they can do this because like uh I don't see like, you know, machine vision indicators of any there's they don't have like a dot code on it that you know, whatever angle it can kind of catch a glimpse of and, and, and be sure. Like, I, I was I was really impressed, but turns out I got bamboozled. Turns out Mechanical Turk worker number 47,282 was like, I'm going to charge this guy. Yeah. X amount of dollars. Yeah. While making a cent. Speaking oh, of which, man. Mechanical Turk fees. Oh, The minimum boy. fee is one cent per assignment. Okay, well, that tells you everything you need to know about how much people are being paid. Because unless they can do It'll be a, 700 assignments well, hold per on. hour. Amazon's definitely taking some. No, I, just hold on, hold on. No, no, I know, but that's not the math. And that's also minimum fee. I know. That's not the math, though. The math is that unless a worker oh, okay, I see what you're doing. can right, do right, yeah. 700 assignments per minute, which would be... Or per hour, rather, which would work out to what eleven per uh, eleven per second? Oh no, hold on! I'm not. I can't math. Math me. Help me. So Seven hundred. Let's let's say let's, let's say, say six hundred. Let's say we're aiming for ten dollars an hour. Okay, so they've got to do. They've got to do what a hundred every six minutes. No, a thousand every six. A thousand every six minutes. Okay, hold on. One cent. Oh my god. So that's a thousand things. So they've got to do a hundred every six minutes. Right? 
Yeah. Okay. So 10 a second. So about 10 a second. Is that uh-huh. right? I don't know. No. Hold on. I hate... Can time be metric, please? Okay. A uh, hundred... We should... We should... Divided we should, by 60. We should hire mechanical Here we go. <laughs> so they have to do first. about 1.7 of those a second. And that assumes they are being paid $10 an hour, which is not a good wage. And that assumes Amazon takes nothing. 100 every six minutes is 10 per second. Where'd you get 1.7? Oh, I missed a zero. Oh. So every six minutes? Six minutes is how many seconds? 100 every... (laughs) (laughs) Help me out. Ah, I'm so tired. No, I was blocking you. Oh. They tried metric time. People hated it. Okay. 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 So hold on a second. Okay. Oh, I said that wrong. Is that what I said? I didn't mean to say that. I meant one minute. Okay. Apparently, I, chat apparently can't do it either because they are all over the place. <laughs> Why are we so bad at math? Okay. All right. We're trying okay. to do it fast. We've got to slow down. Okay. 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 So it's one second. Or it's point. Uh, po- uh, one cent one per cent. interaction. Okay, so it's a hundred interactions to a dollar. It's a thousand interactions to ten dollars, right? So we've got a thousand interactions. If we want to get paid ten dollars in an hour, we divide a thousand by sixty. That's the number per minute. So that is sixteen point six interactions per minute. We divide it by sixty again. That means we've got about four seconds per interaction. I have done the math with a calculator this time. Four seconds per interaction. And that assumes you're being paid only $10 an hour. And that assumes that Amazon is taking no cut. What the fuck? Isn't it 3.6 per second? Yeah, I think so. But I think he rounded up. Yeah, I rounded. Okay. What the heck is going on here? Has anyone worked for this? I... Like anyone in chat? Man, that is, that is wild. Here is the Mechanical Turk worker page. Ooh. One dude said he did. I've worked for it. You need to pick jobs carefully. <laughs> okay. What does that mean? Uh, I think that... Oh, because the minimum payment thing. So if you select the job, I don't know if that's how this works, but if you select the job, you might be able to select ones that are higher value. I was also reading the page and there's like different qualifications so maybe if you have a higher qualification, you can get higher value jobs, and mm. then you get paid more per job. Quite a few people in Floatplane Chat are talking about this. Uh, someone says MTurk is pretty dead now, but I used to do surveys for extra money in college. Uh, someone else said I did some MTurk in college, never saw a cent. Uh, someone said I knew someone who did work for MTurk. They said it was mostly just transcribing documents. Yes, mm. I did it for beer money in college. It's not full gig stuff. Um, interesting. Hmm. I've worked for less with a family business. Okay. I mean, yeah, fair enough, I guess. Um, in theory, says Matt Economist, I think the one cent ones are supposed to be click on the picture containing a bicycle. I mean, man, for how even long that, it takes me to solve a CAPTCHA sometimes. <laughs> yeah, because like even that, you'd have to do one every 3.6 seconds. And consistently yeah, like, with no... It better not blink or yeah. anything. Wow. All right. Anyway. Um, okay. 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 So Trash Cat says, I've, I've M Turk work and you, yeah, yeah, you need to pick M carefully, <laughs> but generally minimum 10 cents per task in my experience. Okay. So that's quite a bit better. That's way better. That's literally but an order of those, magnitude better. Are those more complicated tasks or is that click on the bike? Oh. Like, I wonder how much would have, someone would have been paid to identify your order value from that store. It must have been a lot higher. I would hope so, because you it, reviewing video footage can be very time consuming. It's not just scrub through, yeah, we're good, because they need to, they need to be sure. That's the whole idea, because if they're training the machine vision model and they, they feed it incorrect data, that's a, that's a disaster. Like, you, I mean, obviously, people are human. They make mistakes from time to time, especially if they're being paid, you know, pennies per interaction or, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But the more of that noise that you feed into your model, the worser 
it is going to get. The, the more perfect the data you give it, the better. There's a very wide range of tasks, apparently. Some will give $5 for a 15-minute server. I have worked for MTurk and Sorry. used it to find participants for studies. Interesting. Interesting. All right, well, there you go. MTurk, man. I don't know how I'd never heard of this before because apparently it's a big deal. Val and Cry said you'd have to be very diligent and hardcore to make uh, more than minimum wage. The good jobs are taken quick. Mm, that makes It'd be sense. be allocated within a couple minutes every few hours. Right, because it's going to be like every, in people in every time zone around the world just like sitting there waiting for the, a gig to show up. Crazy. Yeah. Okay. I love Twitch chat. This, all this mech Turk stuff looks like outsourcing low-paying jobs to third world countries legally. Good job. <laughs> and Twitch gets case, there eventually. And in this case, I'm pretty sure they're all contractors. They get there eventually, Luke. Yeah. That's Twitch chat. They, they got it. They got it. They got it. They figured it out. The contractors thing makes it way worse. Here's a cookie. Um, yeah, the fact that they're contra uh, yeah, contractors. Because there can be really good things about being a contractor. There mm -hmm. can also be super bad things about being a contractor. And there's a little bit of a pattern of certain modern like web companies that need actual like people physically doing their jobs using specifically contractors and paying very little. Uh, it's not great. 